Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Minoria for the PC. The game was developed by Bomb Service and was published by Dengen Entertainment and was released on the PC in 2019. The game itself is a 2D style metroidvania game where you play as nuns going around killing demons and witches. It may all sound simple enough, but there is so much more to it here than that. Here's a rundown in the review. The game story is about a covenant of witches and the Holy Church, who are at war with each other. The witches are going around killing and burning everything in their wake, and the church in retaliation is pretty much doing the exact same thing as well. The game's plot gets quite deep and at times exceptionally dark. It really is quite surprising because at first it's not something that you're expecting to find within a game like this. The story might seem simple at a first glance, but it's just so much more than what it first appears to be. The main characters consist of Sister Samila, who is a warrior nun, and Sister Fran, who is new to the church and who will aid you as your support. Both sisters are missionaries in the church's service, and both have been sent out on a mission to fought a witch's ceremony. As the game slowly progresses, you're going to be meeting various new friends and foe along the way. Some characters will be obvious villains, some friends, and others who start off as being on your side, but who then slowly reveal their true colours as the story advances. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this, because if I did, it would ruin the surprises within the story itself. All I will say is that there is a lot going on with each individual character, and clearly a lot of effort has been put into each one of them to bring them all to life. Minoria is your traditional 2D style platformer, and as such there really is nothing new here, gameplay wise. I'm sure everyone out there has played one of these types of games before, and if you have, then you can expect the usual dungeon crawling, item collecting, boss battles, skill levelling up system, and hidden secrets are plenty to be found. What I will say that is new however, is the control layout. I feel that this may possibly separate some gamers, because at a first glance the controls are very basic at best. You have attack, dodge, jump, use item, and that does kind of seem like it at first. It does take a while before you unlock other skills and abilities, but this just means that the game focuses you to become more masterful with what you have available to you at the very start. And you're going to need to become very masterful very quickly, because pretty much right away, the game's pitting you up against giant deadly boss battles. For this section of the review, I could go on and on about this and that when it comes to this game's graphics, but Instead, I will just say this. Everything within this game has been beautifully designed and created and brought to life. Everything just stands out and has clearly had a lot of time, effort, love and detail put into so much of this game that makes the game's graphics what they are. They're exceptionally beautiful to look at and they also work exceptionally well when gaming. As I found that the game ran quite smoothly and even when I did have possibly one or two mild slow hiccups with the game's graphics and possibly a few drops in frames per second, it only happens on the fair few occasions, and because how beautiful this game looked, I honestly find it quite hard to give it any fault. The game stages are cut up into individual sections, which once you enter or leave, enemies will respawn. You're going to have big and small locations to adventure in, and as I already have previously stated, there isn't really anything different here from other 2D style platformers. If you have played these types of games before, then honestly you should really know what to expect. Something that is different within this game though, is that this game does do a great job of mixing vertical and horizontal stages at the same time. One moment you're going to be going from one side of the screen to the next, and then in the next location you're jumping from platform to platform 
climbing either upwards or descending downwards. Okay, so with everything that's been said, is Manoria a good game or not? And is it worth purchasing or should you put your money towards something else entirely? Personally, I feel like Minoria is more than worth it as this game just keeps on surprising me with what it had to offer. This game's story is much more deeper and detailed than I thought it was going to be. The graphics are eye-catching, the music throughout the game is very fitting and masterfully created and beautifully designed and put together. The combat system is well thought out and whilst it is basic to begin with, it does require skill and patience later on to become a true master of what's been given to you. I genuinely don't have a negative thing to say about Minoria, because it really is a game that you feel just keeps on giving you something the more you play it. There are a lot of other 2D style platformers out there these days, but if you want something that's good with a story that gets quite serious, has a cast of interesting characters, good combat style, and is a game which can very quickly draw you in, then get Minoria, because honestly, you really can't do no wrong with this game. Well, that's it for this review, guys. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.